in a perfect position. We don't have a good friendship or relationship with Wilhelmina at this point. And if you want, you can always look at him and just see why. She's got the Sanguine Pact. There are no grievances, but she likes when people trade with her. And that's pretty much it. She also has a hidden agenda. She's friendly with Theodora, my love. But Theodora wants a new Rome. So she likes when you have culture. Now, at this stage, I could put another city here. I'm building my first galley, is it? Yeah. But the thing you want to be careful with is you don't want to lose too much population. That's why Magnus is there. So I didn't really get a chance to talk about Eureka bonuses and inspirational bonuses. Eureka bonuses are science tree related. Inspirational bonuses are civic tree related. And the way it works is that whenever you do a specific task, you get 40% of certain science or culture. So whatever it is that it requires, we'll, we'll take a look over here. These first three you can't get any bonus with. These are just 25. It's, it's not much at all. You don't really need to worry about that. But once you get deeper in, like archery, you have to kill a unit with a slinger you'd get 40% of 50 science, which would be, mm, that's uh, two fifths. That's like, that's about like 20 out of 50 science that would just boost because of the fact that you had your slinger kill a unit. And then as you move further along, kill three barbarians, minor resource, and you get 40% with every culture but China. China gets half. I will show you a Chinese leader later on that will not be the ones you've seen before. Then this one with craftsmanship, you improve three tiles, disperse a barbarian outpost, so on and so forth. Meet three city-states, such as the way of this, and 40% of the culture that is required. So it's best to build districts, it's best to build monuments, and do whatever you need to get those boosts so that you can you can make it easier for yourself to learn new tech and get new civ civic civilities, whatever. That's that. Now, governors can grant you boons as well. With Magnus, he's very popular since we haven't really seen many builders yet. We will. Oh, by the way, we had one faith, one gold. I do want to get a religion if I can. But I took out the one faith, one gold to put one plus production in all cities. Also, we're going to focus specifically on trying to get Eureka bonuses. They are the easiest ones to get. That gives us plus one error score every time we hit a Eureka bonus. So now let's pick craftsmanship so we can build units faster. We get all those cards, barbarian outposts. You just get a lot of cards. The thing we want to do is we want to get our first government. First government is going to grant us... If I put it in Shingeti, I will get Faith per turn. I want to put it in Nalanda because I want to... What is Nalanda? Drain a Spearman. All right, that's, not, that's not difficult. So the trade route. Yeah, I want to get Nalanda because I want the science bonus. Science is not hard to get. It's just very important. Like... The thing that I suggest met elke zending die u ontstuurt. Ah, yes, I I am glad that you appreciate my stuurt. That should make her yep, she doesn't despise us anymore. So there you go. What I suggest in deity. As I said, when you get to when you're playing on anything below deity, including immortal to some extent, the game kind of waits for you, kind of, not necessarily sp specifically, but it kind of does, especially on the earlier ones. When you're playing on Deity, you have a couple of options. One is to try to be more passive 
and attempt. It would take you 31 turns for a second. I could chop that out, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's let's get another slinger. Let's start trying to build up an army. With Deity, you have to be at the offensive or defensive ASAP. And that's why I... Okay, we could become friends with them. That's why I got a... I got two warriors at first. Because of the fact that this is a small map. and a bigger map, I would probably do a scout first. Because there's more to in investigate and find. All right, so there's my galley. London is going to get me another galley. It's only four turns. This galley is going to investigate. We need to find more land. We need to get across here. We cannot send units across there. Now I'm going to show you, let me see, can I chop yet? I'm going to show you what chopping is. Actually, I want to get this, I can't mine anything yet. Of course, my darling. So when you're playing on Deity and you have people this close to you, what I suggest is get at least three really strong cities. Cities that benefit your civilization. You don't have to win certain ways. You can win any way you want. But, excuse me with that. But the best way... I think I need irrigation. Okay, so let's go up here. We've got mining unlocked now. The best way... I do have to kill three barbarians. The best way... to win in whatever direction you're going is to cater to your civilization's strengths. Our strengths, of course, are building up a navy, exploring, and for Elizabeth specifically, getting a lot of trade routes and great admirals. You want to focus on that, so you want to build a lot of shoreline cities. I'm not a big fan of shoreline cities. Shoreline cities don't give you much population. Shoreline cities don't give you much in terms of production, typically. The Pantheon that we, that we went with is pretty much the only way you can get any production out of the ocean tiles. You have to wait till far later on in the game. But seeing as how we're looking to explore... Okay, so we killed three barbarians. We get bronze working. We're... In, we're in great need of moving the tidal or the, the toggle towards this. So getting two galleys helps. Two sea resources helps. We get boosts on these, on these specific technologies because, up oh, there's Eureka boost, because of the fact that it is in our best interest as England to get some ships and explore. Now, I could go with... Uh, I'm going to go with another settler. Explore, explore, explore. Try to find new land. Try to get off this one little island that we are already being overwhelmed. But as you've noticed, like I was saying before, I'm playing deity and I have befriended my neighbors. And the reason is because I don't want my neighbors who get more production than I do by a lot, who have seen a better portion of the other side of the map than I will, I do not want to piss them off early in the game. They will overwhelm me. They will destroy me. And in the end, you will not be able to move forward. You want to be able to move forward. So typically what you do, and then we found another city state, no, another civilization. Ramses. Amun. Hasit nib er sida emba eniru emibo ten. Ramesses is a little difficult, and the reason is because he likes to start wars with people. So when you look at each one, each civilization, you notice he doesn't like me at this point. He's displeased with me. You could, if you wanted, and as I said, because of the fact that I picked for this era that Eureka 
bonuses grant me error score. Every time I get a Eureka bonus, I get error score. So there you go. So now I want to kill a unit with a slinger. I want to I build a quarry, which I kind of already did. I want to kill three barbarians, which I've done. I'm going to just kind of get this out of the way. The walls, this, the iron, and then it's boom. And then it's boom. Because we need to settle. We need to get the hell off this island. Or this piece of land, this continent. And really if I wanted, I could put a city here. It's not really going to get me much. Okay, so we've got a camp there. I need a quadrime. I do have tiles here though. Do I, have, I don't have enough for a builder. I do have a builder with me. I do want this copper though. Copper is a bonus resource. It's not a luxury. Luxuries grant you amenities. Bonus resources just grant you gold typically. And Sheffield has a slinger. I also want to get... Thousands have okay, lived. So irrigation is now available. With Sheffield slinger, I think it's time. We do want to get monuments up. What's your best campus? Plus one, plus one. Eh, we'll wait. We can build it up. No big deal. Let's get another builder out. Actually, no, I'll just buy that. Let's get a monument going. So now I don't really have anything I can trade. See, they have men-at-arms. Men-at-arms are a little steep for us. I don't have anything I can trade with anybody, so I'm just working off my one route. Which isn't ideal, but it's the, the way it has to be at this point. Okay, that is a great profit. So, let's see. Do I have... And there are three. There's one religion left. No religion, two. Okay, now I can craft... I'm going to keep Maritime in there. The plus two, I'm going to go with plus two gold to trade routes. It's going to take, make things take a little longer, but it gives me 10 gold per turn as opposed to just eight. We have another barbarian camp here. I don't know how in the hell you got there, but there you are. If you don't, when you're using the barbarian clans, up oh, we have pound maker. Pound maker. Leader of the Cree. I will exchange. He's not. He's not. He's a, he's a pretty decent dude. If you don't screw with people, he'll leave you alone. So when you first meet somebody, you can always send a delegation. You don't have to do it when you first meet them. You can do it at any point. But you can send them a delegation. If you send them a delegation, it gives them plus two appreciation of you or whatever you want to call it. It's really not worth it at this stage of the game. Only if you want to be friends. So let's get that copper. Okay, now we get a booster wheel and look at that, now we're at 22. And that's fine, that's fine. What's up guys? So as I'm looking, it seems as though we've got, we're, we're kind of crowded here. And that's bad. <laughs> Because now I am going to have to get angry. And I don't want to really play this game too angrily. But if everyone's going to get in my friggin' way, then I'm going to have to. So what that means is we're going to try to get... Yeah, that's fine. I'll just sit there. I'll put you here for now. Bristol's about ready to finish their campus. We're going to have to build a navy... Because, I mean, they're everywhere here. I know the map is small, but God, does it have to be this small? I am going to try to produce a scout sooner or later and just send them towards our friends. Let's get another builder out. I'm going to just sit. When you sit and act defensively, you do... You have a better chance of survival. And they're getting great scientists. We are not getting great anything because I don't have any districts right now. There are games where it, people take great profits, all, all four of them in the first few turns. There are 
games where you can get a great profit in like the 800th turn. It, it, it makes no sense. It's, it depends. Like it depends on who's in there. Like for instance, the Kree are not really deep into religious growth per se. They will start a religion as a means to defend themselves kind of. But it's not really their number one. Their thing is about spreading and you know, they're they're more about I shot an arrow. Okay, so now we have archers. We can upgrade our ar our slingers now to archers. At this stage, slingers you don't really want to keep too long. Archers, yeah. Okay, and we got an error score boost to to celestial navigation, which will grant us harbors. We need the harbors. We need them. They are the lifeblood of her civilization. This is not to be discussed. This is just plain fact. I still don't have any... This one... I still don't have any... Horses. Another thing, too, that you I've not really talked about is loyalty. I mentioned it before. Yeah, yeah. Now we get the Kree music. Yeah, yeah. Who built what? At an honor key. And now my key is a good science. Great wonder. Okay, and... You get error score boost. You can look at it. Let me go. Let me put this on. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that right now. I don't have. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Let me chop. Let me chop out this settler. We're gonna focus mostly on. Yeah, we got the error score boost because of the plus four campus. It's gonna give us a plus three on top of that plus four. And as I said, once we start building districts here, here and stuff, it's going to boost that even more. Sheffield, after they're done with this, I'm going to put a an encampment here. Encampments give you more production and they give you a better semblance of defense. Sheffield's going to probably is going to most likely be like my ground troop city. All right, we got barbarians coming. No problem. Good thing my builder got, but barbarians can steal your builders and your settlers. So let, I can't trap yet. Okay, never mind. Let me go over here. Let me get me get a farm for London farms. If you get a farm, you yeah, I gotta watch out. I gotta get you over to Bristol. As much as I'd like to investigate, I gotta move back. See, this is limited range because we haven't unlocked cartography. Cartography is the final stage of the initial naval evolution. So what that means is that once you get your cartography, you can go and you just, you just fucking pillage my fucking shit. Okay, I gotta keep you, this is what they do as well. They pillage everything. It's all right. I got a builder. Builders can fix what you get pillaged. Barbarians are just fucking nuisances. It's so irritating. So I built something else. Machu Picchu. Oh boy, I haven't even looked at these things for you guys yet. Osidireos nos, ukes tin embasonos. Don't yell at me in Greek. I love you. Just keep those friendships for now. We don't want to get into a war with any of them. They will destroy us. That's right, come back up this way. Now, if I try to settle here, you see all this, that means I will lose loyalty with my cities. I can't cross the ocean. And I don't really have anything anywhere else to go. It is not impossible for me to settle here and maintain loyalty. 
It's not impossible. The problem with this is it's all desert. There's one oasis. There is one productive spot. I could go here, and that would get me closer to the horses. That is only five. I could manage that. How much longer do I have before I can get another governor? Let me see. That is a go. Okay, so I'm going to risk it. I'm going to come here. They're going to complain because they always do. Let's get... What's your best campus? Plus one, plus two. Plus two up here. That is a good campus. I am going to get... I could get a holy site. Get more faith return. It's only 70 gold. I'm going to wait until I get this city settled. Let's go in ancient walls. We'll get another boost. These are good spots to get cities. I just got to get the... I got to get cartography or at least shipbuilding. Okay, you're... I could get a campus from you... Or a site from you. This actually is... It's only four, though. You have a monument, right? Yeah, you have a monument. Let's get... These are wonders. These give you, as you can see with this one, two housing. I should probably go with that one. Temple of Artemis gives you... You, you really want to look at the wonders and what they can produce for you. They take a lot more time to produce than units or other districts, per se. But you look at this. Patronage of great people costs 25% less faith. Districts in the city provide plus two great person points of their type. Great writers, if you get a theater square, you get plus two. As opposed to great person points for, like, great writers or whatever, if you have a theater square, must be built on hills. You also immediately get plus one culture and plus one faith to your entire civilization. Hand Gardens gives you plus housing and increased growth by 15% in all cities. So you kind of want to look at these. The Great Bath, Flood Tunnels containing Great Bath, are not immune to flood damage, which is always good. Flood Lanes, one is entirely again, plus, plus one faith for each time flooded damage is mitigated. It's not great. It gives you amenity, though. I would like, I would love to get Oracle. I'm going to try to get this. That is a good tile, though. I'm going to try to get the Hand Gardens. So, this guy's in my way. I gotta wait for him to go. Which is fine. I don't have to do this right now. You can only have one wonder of that type. You can't have two hang gardens. You can't have two. Only one of that type. As much as I would love... Let me see if she's got better trade routes. So we finished a trade route. I love you, baby. If somebody... Okay, we're not going to get a great profit. We're not going to be able to get a religion. If somebody builds the wonder that you're building, you lose it. But you get all the production that you put into it. So it's a win-loss. We're going to keep... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's Ooh, that's a really good one, though. We're going to keep trading with her. We're going to keep building those, those roads. Get more science return. Hi. How are you? I'm going to sit. It's just good to know that you're up there. So we're going to get iron next. Iron's usually in like hills and stuff like that. Horses are in grass plains. When you settle close to another civilization, they will complain that you're either getting too close or they were looking at that tile or whatever. It helps you get diplomatic favor, which is that little thing up there. Right, I'm not going to survive this battle. Bronze is Okay. You guys got to get the hell out of my way, man. Do I have iron near me? I do not. I'm gonna fix that. I'm going to lose this galley. What do I have in there? I do have that. I don't know why. All right. Well, because I start off with less health. We have iron nowhere. Not good.
No. Thank you. Thank you for moving. Mm. Now it's plus the minus three, which is fine. Let's put you over here because I'm going to irrigate those bananas. Um, hold on. Let me settle first, then I'll get that governor. Go up. We're going to be able to get our royal dockyards next. As I said, we're friends with her. We like her a lot. She's been really good to us, but she's going to complain that we're, going to, that we're settling too close. No one's going to want this. This is crap. This is all desert. Nobody wants desert. Okay. There, okay, as you can see, it that little red thing next to you, and this, this is this is not looking good initially. But we're gonna get the builder over here to get some bananas. We are going to then assign. Um, I'm going to put Liang in there. Nobody really uses her. And that's going to, if you want to take a look, I was showing it to you before. <laughs> you come here to this area and you see the loyalty. And as you can see, from the nearby citizens, it's minus 2.6 loyalty. The governor place there is eight. And the happiness level gives us a minus three because they don't have any amenities. But because of the fact that that combined is 5.6 lossing, loss of loyalty, the eight with the governor will more than rectify that okay my love i want to remain friends with you i wish i had something to trade with you do i have anything to trade i have no, i can trade you open borders so give me three gold per turn that's love you i'm so in love with you all right so anyway the bigger problem with burning birmingham see she's complaining we'll look elsewhere next time and get diplomatic favor so now if you look up we have 60 diplomatic favor we can try to trade diplomatic favor. I do want to be careful with Wilhelmina. She is usually very passive. She's going after Chingeti. Good thing I didn't put any envoys into that. The only thing now is getting these horses, but I have no iron. Okay. I don't see any iron here either. The problem is that I'm going to have to take the worst places to <laughs> to settle on and try to make some. I mean, when you get all the technologies and everything unlocked, you can make. It's something about the old statement of making soup out of some kind of excrement from a specific animal. You can do that, or make lemons, lemonade out of lemons, or whatever. You could do that, but you got to get your tech built up with small amounts of cities, and that's the problem. This is why we're trying to expand via sailing and boats and whatever. We only have two more turns for that, then we're gonna go to ship building. That, no matter how many times I say it, I have to emphasize the P so that you don't think I'm saying S-I-S-H-I-T building, which I say anyway. Now, when you see a city that's like this, that's next to a city that's got two Population, population on the other side, and the kind of era, golden era, dark age, whatever, that they're in will affect the population on your side, or the loyalty. I would like to get the Great Bath. I would like to get another settler. I'm going to, maybe I should get another galley. Uh, sh okay, so the walls are done. Your balls are showing. Bumblebee tuna. I should... Let, let me get a monument here. Shouldn't take too long. One thing that can affect you positively is if you have a higher population than the city that's hugging you, making out with you. Build up that population. And if you see a luxury, get it. Unlock it. And keep the amenities. I need luxuries. I have no luxuries. I can trade for luxuries. 
Let's see if I can trade diplomatic favor for luxuries. Luxuries affect every city. Okay, celestial navigation. What's going to happen now? All these shoreline cities are going to be printing out royal dockyards. That, okay, so that should help you. Royal dockyards in our capital, which is doing 11 production per turn, is going to be six. Six turns. And it gives you plus four lines. Let, let me see if I can trade. Do you have any luxuries, my love? You don't you don't have any luxuries either. Jeez. What about you, big guy? You got a lot of science per turn. What luxuries do you have? You do have a lot of spice. I'll give you diplomatic favor. Okay, so there you go. So now we have some luxuries. He's got a lot of spices. It'll improve our relationship with him. And it's still not enough. I need other luxuries. If you want, you can just look over here and you'll see your city status and you'll see it. London has three out of two amenities. They're fine. Bristol and Birmingham are content. Sheffield is displeased. So we need to find something else and luxuries will give you that something else. I am going to stop here. I'm going to be streaming Basile the Second on this channel in just a few minutes. So till next time.